In order to continue measuring data in your Shopify store, you'll need to upgrade to Google Analytics 4 by July 1st, 2023. Previously, we used Google Universal Analytics to measure customer behavior, analyze store traffic, and deliver relevant ads to potential customers. But Universal Analytics is now going away, and in order to continue measuring this data, you'll need to upgrade to Google Analytics 4. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the process of upgrading to Google Analytics 4 and linking the GA4 property to your Shopify store. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to upgrade to Google Analytics 4. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you head over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. You should then be taken to your account dashboard. Here's where you can view your analytics, add products, and manage your online store. So first, let's head over to the menu where we added our Google Universal Analytics. If you look at the menu on the left-hand side, you should see a tab that says Online Store. Let's click that now. This will open up a page where you can manage your online store theme and settings. Also, once you select the Online Store tab, you should see other options appear underneath. One of these options should say Preferences. Let's click that now. Here's where you can select various preferences and settings for your online store. If you scroll down, you should see a section that says Google Analytics. Previously, this is where we would go to connect our Google Universal Analytics to our Shopify store. But if you check out the message up top here, Universal Analytics is going away, so we'll need to upgrade to Google Analytics 4. If you already have Universal Analytics connected to your Shopify store, this means you already have a Google Analytics account, and the process to upgrade will be super simple. But if this is your first time connecting your Shopify store to Google Analytics, you'll need to create a Google Analytics account at analytics.google.com, and then create a new property to add to your Shopify store. To create a new property, you can look at the bottom left-hand side of the page and click the Admin icon. To create a new property for your Shopify store, you can start by clicking the Create Account button at the top here, and follow the steps to set up a new account and property for your Shopify store. This requires you to enter some simple business information and should only take a minute or two. Once you've created your property, you'll be able to connect it to your Shopify store using the Google app, which we'll be taking a look at next. So in order to finish setting up Google Analytics 4, you'll need to download the Google and YouTube Shopify app and connect it to your analytics account. If you haven't added the Google app to your Shopify store yet, you can look at the menu on the left-hand side and click the Apps tab. This will open up a search field at the top where you can search for the app that you're looking for. So let's type in Google and see what comes up. As you can see, this will pull up several apps that contain the keyword Google. But the one we're looking for is the Google and YouTube app here. You'll know it's the right one because it has the official Google logo. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the Add App button and continue the install process to add the Google app to your Shopify store. And after installing, don't forget to connect your analytics account. Once you've installed the Google app, you'll see it appear in the menu on the left-hand side here. So from the Preferences menu, we can go back to the Google Analytics section and click the button that says Manage Pixel here. This will take us to the Google app where we can connect the Google Analytics property for our Shopify store. So to finish setting up Google Analytics 4, let's click on the Get Started button here. This will open up a new menu where you can choose the Google account that owns your analytics property. You can then select to allow the app to access your Google account, and the box at the bottom right will then be populated with your various analytics properties. Using the drop-down menu here, you can see all the analytics properties that you've created on your Google account. If you previously had a Universal Analytics code connected to your Shopify account, you should see a GA4 version available here now. Once you've selected the property for your Shopify store, go ahead and click the Connect button. And voila! The property has been connected to your Shopify store, and you've successfully set up Google Analytics 4. Shopify can now send data over to your Google account, and you can now get insights into your online store's performance with Google Analytics. And if you ever wanted to view, manage, or disconnect your analytics account, simply look at the menu on the left-hand side and go to the Google app that we downloaded earlier. You can then go to the Settings tab at the top menu. 
and scroll down to the section that says your Google Analytics property. If properly connected, you should see a message at the bottom that says your site data is being shared with Google Analytics. From here, you can click the link to visit your Google Analytics account or use the button on the right hand side to disconnect your account. With Google Analytics 4, you can now receive powerful insights about visitor behavior on your Shopify store and be able to measure the performance of your store more accurately. So that's a quick overview of adding Google Analytics 4 to your Shopify store. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.